Welcome back, everybody. The tradition of setting off fireworks on the 4th of July began right here in Pennsylvania, Philadelphia to be exact, all the way back on July 4th of 1777. Well, a lot has changed since then. <laughs> They've only gotten bigger and the rule book on what is acceptable and what can be downright dangerous changes every year. So we have Jason Lichtenstein with Edgar Snyder and Associates here to help us stay safe, legal and out of harm's way. We're so happy to have you here today. Thank you for having me. A really important topic because I think we see them set up on the roadside stands and there are all these fireworks everywhere. And people are so eager to get their hands on them, but you have to really think about what could happen, what could go wrong. Absolutely. Fireworks cause about 10,000 injuries per year in the United States. And the injuries, as we know, can be, range from minor to very serious. Um, a lot of burn injuries have occurred fractures of bones from the explosion force. We've even had situations involving um, amputations of limbs because, with, of, because of fireworks. Yeah. yeah, which is horrifying, right? And then also, I feel like a thing people don't necessarily always think about is, it's one thing when you're doing them in your own backyard and maybe an adult is doing it and showing off a show for the kids, but what if you have a bunch of guests and say I was a guest at your house, you set them off and I got injured? If you're a guest at my house, I have a lot of different responsibilities that I need to follow in order to ensure the safety of my guests. And there are certain laws in Pennsylvania that um, require uh, certain behaviors about the host setting off fireworks. So here's a few tips. Number one, purchase the fireworks at a reputable mm -hmm. business. Homemade fireworks are a no-no yeah. because they tend to be erratic when you purchase fireworks from a business you want to make sure that each firework package has both instructions and a warning on it secondly make sure you're in an open area the law says that you cannot be within 150 feet of either a structure yeah. or a car that's, that's the one thing that gets me every year. When I see them going off in neighborhoods, I think, oh my gosh, how easy would it be for someone's house to catch on fire if these things are coming down? I mean, you have embers coming down from the air. So really a lot to think about. Um, you also mentioned in some of your tips, like, look at your insurance policies too, because if somebody was to get injured or hurt, whether it be fireworks or something else, if you're having a gathering, there can be some coverage that can help you with, with that kind of stuff. Absolutely, if you're injured on someone's property, where there are fireworks going off. Um, there are a couple different ways that one can make a claim against the person who is utilizing the fireworks and setting them off. If they're, that's performed in an unsafe, mm -hmm. uncareful, what we call negligent manner, that person, that host, can be held responsible or liable. Additionally, there are some situations where the fireworks themselves are defective right. and, and do not have the appropriate warning labels to warn the non-professionals as to how to properly set the fireworks off. Under any circumstance though, make sure the children are far, far away. away. Far, far away. away. Yeah. I think the biggest word you said there is professionals. Like typically yeah. when, fire, when a fireworks display happens, it is a, a team of professionals that is responsible right. for them, right. right? And they have been trained and they have fire safety. Not everybody has a, a fireman on hand, right, at their house. <laughs> but I bet you when, you know, firemen are involved or, or anybody in sort of a first responder experience, you know, there's some sort of fire prevention or you at least have an extinguisher ready or even a bucket of water, yeah. eye protection. I mean, all of the things that you don't necessarily think about. It's like, oh, whatever, let's just light this and let it go. And now now we have a huge disaster. I, I want to ask you a question too. If, if somebody were to come to your house, you're hosting the party, comes to your house with their own fireworks, sets them off and injures themselves, you can't be held liable if it's on your property, but they've done that. Can you? Um, I know it's a little bit more complicated, but. That's correct. And um, we always love to, to be able to have a black and white answer for everything, right. but in the law, it's usually pretty gray. Yeah. But the answer is, if you are aware as the person who's hosting the party that other people are bringing fireworks, that creates a duty upon you to make sure that those fireworks are being discharged in a safe manner. I see. You mm -hmm. can't invite people onto your property 
knowing that they have fireworks and that they intend to set the fireworks off without making sure that they follow the same safety protocols that you have in place for yourself. That's good. Good to know. Jason, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you both. You Great it. Mind. Let's just be, be mindful, be good neighbors, be yeah. polite. Be safe. Please be safe. Most importantly, please be safe. And for more information on all the items that Jason just spoke about or to learn more about firework laws in Pennsylvania, head to our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com, and we'll have a link for you there.